Alright, general gameplay video three. So the video ended like <laughs> right as I right as I got to this point. So again, this this encounter is actually one of the easier skeleton encounters because he's just the same bandit encounter, if you notice. This is like this one's the, the wandering bandit. And um, these skeletons are way easier. So uh I shouldn't have a problem with this. Now that I'm full health and all the other skeletons are dead, I'm only fighting one guy. I think there was one archer left. So, there's a one encounter where there's like a crypt in the open field. That's why the encounter is hard. And I just have a lot of my basic abilities here. I don't bother completely. I don't need to, like, really. You know what I mean? So, we'll loot them all. You can see my, this is where you die. That's what it looks like when you die. It leaves like your skeletons you can see. I, I'm guessing it's just the archer. Okay. Alright, nice. Again, the first time I've completed... First time I've seen this particular skeleton encounter. Um, and they were easier enemies than the last group. Or the last one. There should be a chest in here. I've noticed that these wandering encounters, especially the combat ones, have chests. Oh, it's a wander. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm waiting to come into one of those encounters and see, like, a boss. But I haven't seen any little stuff, only the bigger stuff you see. Generally, do I see, like, a boss style? Oh, I killed the, the watching thing. Oops. Oh, sorry. Got in the way. So I am expecting to see a treasure chest somewhere in here. I will mine all over here. Again, I think the enemy is right dead. Gold ore and critted on the mining part, so it went pretty quick. Didn't it? There's nothing on there. There's nothing on that. That's bad. We'll see. I'm not gonna bother killing the rabbits. Plenty of rabbit carcasses. <laughs> so, gotta be careful. I'm sure I'm against the edge here. I got, yep. So, grab this one where I'm looking. Uh, it'd be nice if there's a chest. Maybe there's no chest in this particular skeleton encounter. The other one, there's a crypt, like I said. It's like more of an open field, and there's a crypt. I'm sure once you kill all the skeletons, you can loot the crypt. If you can kill the skeletons, because they all attack you at once. Uh, don't want to leave. If you leave, you lose it. So leave before we gather. It's definitely worth getting these gathering notes if you're uh, if you do the gathering. If you don't do the gathering and you just let it for the combat, then yeah, just kill the guys, loot the chest, get out. You know, move on to what you're doing. Pause the video here for a second while I do something and then continue. Alright, back. Probably didn't notice because I paused the video, but get the rest of these gathering things going. See if I can find the chest. Generally the chests don't there's one. Generally the chests don't even, don't have very much interesting stuff in them. But uh Things better than nothing. Look at it. Now, the bandit encounter, the chest is usually sitting right here. So, it's possible that uh, this encounter doesn't have, this particular skeleton encounter doesn't have a chest like I mentioned. So, let's see anything more on this side. And normally, I would think they would be up, up here near there their place of power, but, uh, their place they were all at, but, yeah, I didn't see a chest. I'll look there one more time before I leave, just to be safe, because I don't, don't want to waste resources. I probably don't need to be in combat stance either. I'll take that off as soon as we go.
I don't know if it increases or decreases your gathering percent chances or anything. So we'll have to see. Right. As you can see, these water encounters, because they're such a small compact area, it's really nice for gathering if you can survive. <laughs> Lots of resources. Now. I almost run around looking for these sometimes just because you get so much. And yeah, I'm not blowing stuff up. And I don't see anything. And I find a lot, quite a lot of gold nodes. I mean, I wonder what you can do with gold. If you just make, if you make gold armor, or if it's just gold, maybe make gold money. <laughs> It'd be interesting if you could make your own in-game money. They make, I mean, that's funny because a lot of games like have gold, but you can't uh, make the currency even though the currency's gold. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Like, oh, here's gold. Nope, you can't use it to make money. You gotta, you gotta sell it for less than less than it's worth, or use it to make something like armor. Gold armor would be really heavy. I think. Gold alloy maybe mix gold with. Aluminum is pretty soft metal as well. I guess you can mix gold with steel, but you can start, probably start getting some really hard gold with iron and start getting some really heavy armor going. But maybe be protected. Maybe protected pretty well. I don't know. All right, so we've almost gathered the entire area. I think let's get this tree. So this is just general gameplay. I'm not actually doing any quests or anything. I'm just leveling up skills, collecting resources. I'm playing the game to play the game and have fun, not to, you know, get to the end, you know. There are times when you want to get to the end, and there are times you just want to play. Have fun. That's what this is. Just play for fun. I hope they add, like, a tree crashing sound, you know, breaking, branches breaking, and the thing falling down. Again, this is only early access, and it just came out of... Um, alpha state, I think. So it's early access. I would count this as a as an early beta. All right. So I pretty much gathered everything that I can see, unless I missed something somewhere. It's just possible I might have missed one or two gathering notes, but we'll see. So yeah, let's go back over here and look for a chest. Again, it's, it'd be pretty obvious if there was a chest, and I don't see one, so... You guys seen this encounter either... Oh, what is that? I've never seen that before. There's a couple of them. Like Nightshade or something? Yeah, Nightshade. I've never seen that before. See, until you know what to look for, like, I totally... I might have seen that before and totally just mixed... missed or went over it. Can I click on it again? No. There's another one right here. Like, I have never seen that before. It's really hard to see, and that's the thing with this game. Like... You can easily miss these sort of things unless you know what to look for. Um, another one that's already been. Okay, so yeah, now that I know what to look, what's this? Oh, looks like one, but it's not. It's already. Oh, that's a, maybe this one just has nightshade because I've never seen. It. I'm gonna start looking for nightshade now that I know what to look for. Um, I'll collect a bunch more nightshade. Nightshade's used for, um, I believe it's used for, uh, focus potions. Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. But I haven't had a lot of it, so I haven't, or maybe it's mandrake that's used for focus potions. Oh, that was a mandrake plant. Huh. That's funny, because I, I, I've probably walked over these things. Oh, there's another one. I've walked over these things so many times, probably, and never noticed. <laughs> wow. Again. That's how you, that's the, I like how they do that crafting because you have to be paying attention. You can't just go, oh, there's a node on the mini map. Let's run over there and gather it. You have to play the game. I really like that. All right, this video is pretty much over. Obviously, no chest, uh, but I did get quite a bit of crafting and gather or gathering materials. So I'm actually 